The number of coronavirus infections reported today in South Korea has risen to a new high at just over 57,000. The authorities are suggesting that the strict social distancing rules could soon be eased with a decision to come this week. The current rules include a 9 p.m. curfew on restaurants, and that's in effect till this Sunday. Shin Yen has the latest. South Korea on Tuesday saw yet another daily high number of new COVID-19 infections, clocking in at 57,177 cases. The number of critically ill patients also stayed above the 300 mark for the second straight day. As of Tuesday, more than 240,000 people are reportedly treating themselves at home. Also, over 26 percent of all ICU beds are occupied. Daily COVID-19 figures are spiking as forecast by authorities due to the spread of Omicron. Authorities say this number will go up even higher over the next two or three weeks, where we could see up to 170,000 new infections a day. In a bid to control the spread while not burdening the country's medical capacity, authorities are urging people to get tested and treated at home. The Ministry of Food and Drug Safety has set the price of self-testing kits at around five U.S. dollars, which aligns with the government's recent decision to ban online sales and allow each person to buy a maximum of five kits per store. This pricing policy is now in effect, but there could be exceptions depending on whether or not pharmacies or convenience stores bought kits in bulk. Authorities have also made it possible for those looking after at-home treatment patients to get their medication from any pharmacy. Previously, they had to go to designated COVID-19 pharmacies. Patients that need Paxlovid, though, still have to visit one of the 472 designated places. Meanwhile, authorities are also set to determine whether social distancing measures can be eased a bit earlier than expected. The prime minister said a decision should be made this week. The director general of the Central Disaster Management Headquarters, Son young -ne, on Tuesday, said that authorities would announce their decisions on Friday after hearing from experts. But he also hinted that vaccine passes will still be needed at most public facilities for now because they're an effective way of reducing the number of deaths and critically ill patients. The current social distancing measures in place, which limit social gatherings to six people and force restaurants and cafes to close at 9 p.m., are set to last until February 20th. Shin Yeun, Arirang News.